All right, folks, we're in Alamo. We are just leaving it. We're coming out of the west side of Alamo. Taking a left just over the hill. There's a white truck coming to you. He's on your side of the road a bit. And we're going to turn here. I don't know. We're following Bill. I have no idea where we're going. Um, but it's always fun. I got the Zeke next to me. Jeff's in the middle, and it's me in the back. Wow, Bill in the front with his friends Kyle and David. And if it's any worse than houses, you guys can air down. Oh, here's some more pavement. If it's any worse than this, I'm gonna air down quick. got our tires all aired down I really don't know where we're going I'd say it's gonna be a short run with with um Bill that could mean anything from two hours to eight so we'll see Zeke's a little peony today aren't you Zeke yeah got some diarrhea won't eat I think he ate something bad last night in, at the campfire he'll survive we're about ready to go so I uh, will talk to you when something makes sense. So we're going west, away from Alamo. We got a good stiff north breeze, so there's dust is really a problem. Going away we go. So we're taking this little pass to go. to a high point here. Keeps are crawling pretty good. Sorry about the wind. We do have some views up here. So we got done with that. We're going back down the mountain. Not very fast, but we're going down. 
Oh, nice view. Oh, nice view. Oh, nice view. That's what we're here for. A lot of work for that little view, though. <laughs> Nothing looks quite as steep on the GoPro as it really is. It's pretty steep, but I'm still in only a four wheel low. I don't know why it would stop. The road to Overlook up there, you want to try it or something? Keep it down. Let's hit the overlook also. We'll do that and then on the way back we'll take the uh, I have two trails out of here. Uh, one goes kind of southeast and one goes back kind of west. Not coming, well, we're not, we're going to continue south after we go up. Hopefully we come out in the wildlife rest. Actually, the one that goes west will, appears to dead end in the middle of nowhere, so uh, I don't think we want that to get out, but we might want to go look. So we're coming up here, we took a side road. Back to find the gate over here. So I'm gonna go right just until I hear from you because I want to see what this view out this way looks like. Okay. I think the track you have actually is the one that the track that I have on my GPS, the track you chose, Bill. There's a beautiful camping site here, but I'm going to be coming up your way in a minute. You see our trail just to the right there on the bottom of the hill. It's when we came up. Those guys go as fast as they want. I take my time with these things. I'm in no hurry. I like to enjoy the scenery a little bit, relax not fall off a cliff, all that kind of stuff. <laughs> I know it's nice and wide and smooth, but my butt still puckers up. We're here at a place called Badger Spring. Little Having a little lunch. So if you want, you can run the one part as a freezer and the other part's a refrigerator. That is very nice. I've seen those on there. But it's not a true one, but you can get away with it. Uh -huh. 
But basically, you're giving the, your huge area as your freezer and your little area as your refrigerator. Mm -hmm. Yeah. One of the most interesting things about this place is the top of that mountain right there, or hill. It's a mile there and a thousand feet. But from the top, you can see Area 51 pretty clearly. It's called Tikaboo Peak. And you have to have high powered binoculars or telescopic lenses to see it, I think, but, but it is visible from there. And people come up here all the time to climb up there and watch. Know what they're gonna see. So we left the area called Badger Spring, or what I call Badger Spring. Now we're coming to a different area that I think is the real Badger Spring, actually. And um, but we're, I don't think we're gonna stop long. There's not much to see there. And we're heading down back down. Um, I don't know if we're out, out done yet. I don't know. We'll see. But we'll always have a good time, don't we, Zeke? Zeke's feeling a little better. Um, still don't want him to eat. I won't let him. Because he's still got some diarrhea, but his spirits are much, much better. So that's good. <laughs> I don't know what they're doing up there. They're getting in. On the top, it says Badger Spring Drive, but now he knows. This is Badger Spring coming up. Sorry, I had to put it in drive. Needed the hand. But I'm going to turn this over. I'd like to see what we're looking at. That area right there is where Badger Springs is. I'm quite sure. Barbed wire fenced off. I'm not quite sure why. Maybe to keep the animals out of the spring from ruining it. I don't know. That's it. All right. Turn it off and drive. So we left the lunch too, and we knew that we got back past the spring. And now we're just driving down the road, coming going back down. A friend of ours who was camping next to us, who's a friend now, we just met him um, a couple days ago. He is into the alien series and and, and the um, UFOs, very much so. And we just left this area here called Badger Springs, and at the base of Badger Springs is Chikapuki. I think that's the way you pronounce it. That is the one spot you can still climb up and get to. And with the telephoto lens, take pictures of very different pictures one. I thought about Dane, and I think he would um, enjoy coming up with us here. Except we'd have to spend another two hours for him to climb up and climb back down, because I know he would. <laughs> but it's more fun at night. But I was thinking about you, Dane. <laughs> Sorry, you didn't get to come. GoPro, stop recording. So we just left the forest. And back in the desert landscape. It's amazing how fast it changes. So we turned a couple more times. Now we're on Corn Creek Road. Uh, going to Alamo or in the Alamo area. Great view out there. The road is like a state highway. It's We're almost done in this Corn Creek or Alamo Road.
White River where the effects are. We're going to get green, whatever they call that too. We're going to get green. It's part of the White River. Green trees all of a sudden. So we have this little incident. Um, we've got a blockage here for traffic. We've got the tires all aired up, ready to go. Easy. Simply easy. You know that sweet talking Bill, he had her in the palm of her hand there. So we um aired up, got off the trail, and we were heading back here to my phone. I mean my phone. My GoPro died, so I just want to tell you that we had a great time, and it was, um, got back to the camp, had some dinner, campfire, it was pretty nice. Um, we'll be out tomorrow morning, and going someplace else, and I'll let you know. Keep on exploring, folks. It's a great time.